Hello everybody, welcome back to Wisconsin Wonder Garden. Today is going to be a fun and exciting episode. I hope you guys learn a lot. We're going to be germinating our vegetable seeds. If you, if you tuned in to a previous video, we talked about when we should be germinating all of our seeds. So if you don't know when to do that, I'll have the link in the description below or you can find it on my channel. So after you know when to germinate your seeds, the next thing you have to know is obviously how to germinate those seeds. In today's video, we're going to be going through two different methods that people use. Uh, primarily, these are the method methods they use. Um, granted, some people like myself like to experiment and try germinating in different ways. But these are the two main ways that I recommend germinating seeds. Now, Everybody has their own preferred method too. And throughout this video, I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of each, each uh, method. And I'm also going to tell you which one I like the most um, based off of, I've got a couple of different reasons why I like it the most, uh, but stay tuned, you guys are gonna figure that out. We have everything we need down here. Uh, we just bought this stuff a while ago. We did a gardening haul video. We've got like uh, basically everything we need to grow uh, over 200 different vegetable plants this year. We're gonna throw vegetable plants in every nook and cranny possible. We've got two brand new raised garden beds that we're gonna fill up. The other raised garden bed that we've been growing in for a while now. And um, also some of the flower garden beds will be... Buddy, you got bumped the camera. <laughs> Some of the other raised garden or some of the other garden beds that we usually use for flowers and stuff are also going to be used for some vegetables this year because we are going all out. Anyways, the material that we're going to be using today uh, for one of our methods, we're going to be using these seed starting trays. Of course, we've got all of the seeds. Some of these are going to be germinated today and some of them are not because if you watched our previous video, uh, it's either too early in the season or they should be direct sown right into the garden. We've also got the soil, which is a nature's care organic soil mixture. They also do make some great seed starting mixes if you want to go that route. And then the material that we're going to need for our second method of propagation is some water, paper towel, and Ziploc bags or otherwise a cup and plastic covering works. But either way, I'm sure you guys are aware of what I'm onto with that one. That is the paper towel method. So the first thing that we're gonna go through is the um, seed starting mix in these trays right here. So let's check out how to germinate the seeds in soil. Okay, we've got everything laid out here and we already know when we're supposed to be germinating our seeds. And right now we are five weeks ahead of our last frost date. So these are the selection out of all of the vegetables that will be growing this year that should be sown indoors and should be sown four to five weeks ahead of the last frost date. If you still don't know when to be germinating your seeds, I will have a link in the description below. You have to know that before you're even to this point. Uh, but with us being five weeks be before our frost date, these are the seeds we're growing here and starting to germinate. They're gonna be a Russian kale, dinosaur kale, our rosemary, and then we have a couple of different kinds of basil. We have kohlrabi, broccoli, lettuce, onion, cucumbers, are not supposed to be in there. My little guy must have put those in there. I knew that didn't feel right. <laughs> And then all of our tomatoes. These are everything that we're gonna start indoors today. Uh, this is our first method on doing them. The first step when starting with these seed trays is going to be tearing out a corner just like this. That way you can water this whole tray. After you fill up and with fill up your tray with soil and put your seeds in, you're not gonna wanna disturb those seeds with a whole lot of water. So I found that 
you're just better off bottom watering the seeds with the tray. It's also so easy to water this way. You just fill up maybe like an inch of this tray and then that water will be wicked up through the soil keeping your seeds moist as needed. I will show you guys how to do that when we get to that point. But again, first step is removing one of these trays. And then you're gonna to wanna to get soil across all of your cells. So can you spread out the dirt? Spread it all out. Good job. After you've spread it all out, you've filled up all of the cells. Uh-oh, don't spill it. Make sure that the soil is packed down, not too tight, but to the point where uh, when you do water it, that soil is not going to compact much more than it already uh, has with you guys patting it down. So make sure you do that. Next up is obviously getting the seeds into the soil. We've got our seed markers, our labels are all ready to go. But before we start, I wanna tell you the biggest mistake that people make during this step, and that is planting too low. Most of these are all gonna be about a quarter inch into the soil. If you go deeper than that, that seed is not gonna germinate. It's not receiving the energy it needs because it's totally covered up by soil. Even if that seed is like right on top of the soil, as long as it has humidity, it's still gonna germinate. But if that seed is too low, it's not gonna germinate at all. So when doing this, make sure your seeds are not too low in the soil. What I do for this is usually I'll just take a pen or something and stick it into the soil about a quarter inch. I will go through all of the cells and then we can plant the seeds in there. All right, now we are ready for the seeds. All we've got to do is just pop the seeds. Oh, you want to do them there? All we've got to do is pop the seeds into each hole. One seed, only one. And then after you've gotten the seeds in, you can just lightly cover up that seed. Again, make sure your seed is not too deep. Always read the back of the instructions because some might be a little bit deeper than others, but 90% of the time, a quarter inch is going to be suffice. So get that seed in there a quarter inch and then cover it up with the soil. So you guys don't have to sit and watch us plant this whole tray out. We're going to get all of the seeds prepared and then I will show you how to water these and then also what sort of location you're going to want these in as well. Next up we have watering which is extremely crucial during these stages of your seeds life. Up until the point of transplanting, watering is something that can kill your plants almost faster than anything else will. One way to monitor your water levels is by looking at the soil's color. If it's a darker color like it is right now because we just brought this out of the bag, that's moist enough and then you can also feel that it's moist. That is going to grow your seeds the way it is. You feel how it's a little wet? Yeah, it feels good. Um, you want to make sure, really check this moisture level once a day. Uh, because if this soil dries out, your seedlings can die. You want to make sure that the moisture level is constant. It's not soaking wet, but it cannot dry out at any stage. So if you were to water it, what I would do is dump water into it. So it's about half an inch from the bottom here. And then I'm going to come back in 10 minutes to maybe half an hour and check this soil moisture level. If the water is all wicked up and then the soil on the top, because that's where our seeds are, is still dry, then I'm gonna go ahead and dump in more water to make sure that the soil is evenly moist around where the seed is. 
So I hope I explained that good for you guys. Again, the biggest thing is just making sure that your soil stays moist during this stage. Uh, next up, we're going to talk about the location on where to put these while they're germinating and then the temperature. All right, we've got all of our beautiful seeds ready and germinating. We've watered them and then covered them up. This is going to hold the humidity in there, which is going to be best for your seeds and easiest on you. Otherwise, it's very easy to run this soil dry without knowing about it, which is why you want to keep these lids on up until the point where your seedlings are growing to the top of it. Then you could go ahead and remove them, but definitely keep them on up to this point. Now we've got to make sure that that soil stays warm. That's anywhere between 65 and 85 degrees. You also want to make sure it's in the light in the right lighting conditions. Uh, light doesn't really matter as much up until the point where you start to see little leaves uh, grow above the soil. At that point, you want to make sure they get as much light as possible without burning the leaves. Whether or not you use supplemental lighting is up to you. I'm going to use this 1000 watt LED light that's burning behind me. I'm going to use that to make sure our seedlings do not get leggy. If you see your seedlings starting to grow really tall and leggy, maybe even falling over, then you definitely need more light. So that covers everything with this method. Let's move on to the paper towel method. All right, guys, now moving on to the next method. I'll show you all how to do that, and then I will talk about which method I prefer and why I prefer it. Uh, what we'll need for this, I did say Ziploc bag. You can use Ziploc bags if you would like to, but um, I found this container which is going to be perfect for this use as well. When using a container and Ziploc bag or anything, make sure that it is not completely sealed. If you've got a cover like this, make sure you put some holes in it so there's some airflow. And if you've got a Ziploc bag, then make sure that Ziploc bag is not uh, closed all the way shut. You'll still need some airflow and oxygen. These are still plants, whether or not they're just germinating, they still need that. So make sure you do so. Um, all we're gonna do is take this paper towel and it's real simple. I'm gonna take two sheets of it. I'm gonna fold it in half and then I am going to take it and place it into the bottom of my container here. There we go. Now, all we have to do is put the seeds in there. You don't want too many to the point where they're going to be overcrowding each other, even though you're only growing them with this method till they're about uh, half an inch long. So, I'm just going to spread these around. This is about the density of seeds that you would want to get for this method. We're going to fold the paper towel over one more time. And then we are going to take some water. And just make sure that your paper towel is wet, but you don't have a bunch of sitting water in the bottom of your container. Fold this extra bit down there. Close it up to keep in the moisture. You shouldn't have to add water to this, but keep an eye and make sure that this uh, the paper towel doesn't get dry. Otherwise, again, that's going to affect your seeds in a negative way. So we want to make sure we keep our seeds nice and wet with this. Uh, by the way, I didn't punch holes in this yet. I will. Don't worry, I will. And now what we do with these is place them in a warm area that it doesn't really matter if it gets light or not. Um, what we need light for is specifically once the seeds have germinated and are growing. Um, but 
here you'd be fine with or with out light for the most part a lot of people just take these containers and uh, put them above their fridge but the big thing that matters is that these seeds are warm as in warmer than 65 degrees so generally your average house temperature would be just fine for these what we've got to do now that the seeds are in the paper towel and it is moist is you've got to pretty much just wait for a few days and constantly check on your seeds make sure that that paper towel stays moist and check to see the point at which your roots are have grown to about half an inch uh, maybe an inch at max after that point they're gonna start growing into the paper towel which will be a ridiculous to get out without damaging your plants so uh, shoot for a half an inch and once those are half an inch you can transplant right into the soil making sure that that root is completely buried in soil while using this method it does have some pros like speeding up your germination rate and then you can also tell which seeds are gonna germinate and which ones aren't. I think it has one major flaw to it, and that's why I choose soil over any other method. Um, and that flaw is simply that you have to then handle that plant one more extra time. And especially during its most fragile stages. This plant is extremely fragile when it starts to germinate. And then we're going to take it and try and pull it out of that paper towel and place it into the soil again for a second time of, of handling. You have to handle it two times and then you have to handle it again for transplanting into the garden. I just don't think that the risk outweighs the benefits on this one which is why i recommend putting it in soil you're gonna have to handle the seeds less it takes uh less care less attention there's less steps so i recommend using soil yeah it is cool to see the plant grow and watch the roots shoot out but if you really want to do it in the most efficient and safe way possible then you're going to want to grow in soil. So thank you guys all so much for tuning in today. Stay tuned as transplanting for these guys is going to come before we know it. Uh, we've got a ton of stuff going on in the garden with the outdoor perennial flowers and such. So we are now once again in full bore spring mode. T a ton of stuff going on here. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. If you have any questions that I did not answer, please, please, please comment down below. Don't leave your questions unanswered. I will be sure to get around to them as soon as possible. Uh, please stick around for the next video. I will put a link to it up here uh, when we transplant these guys. It's, this is going to be part of a full series, the uh, when to germinate, how to germinate, and then transplanting. So stay tuned for that. Again, link will be in the box up here. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Happy gardening.